All right, hey guys, it's Mr. Fowler. I'm going to do uh, module five, lesson 5.1 real quick. It's application of equations. So we're going to be taking what we learned in module four about equations, and we're going to be applying it to word problems. I got a few examples I'm going to work through, and then I'll turn you over to your worksheet. Should be pretty quick. All right, let's go. All right, the distance a car travels can be found using the formula D is equal to R times T, where D is the distance and R is the rate of speed, and T is the time. How many miles does the car travel if it drives at an average rate of speed of 80 miles per hour for a period of one and three-fourths of an hour? Okay, let me grab a pencil real here, or a pen real quick. Uh, let's get a color that you should be able to see. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of different things real quick. All right, they have given us a formula here. D is equal to R times T. Sorry, I know my handwriting is sloppy, but it's hard to write on this thing. Okay, so if you look, they have given us a rate of speed here. All right, so we're going to put that right here rate is 80 miles per hour okay now if we go back and look at another piece all right they've given us a time period time is one and three-fourths hour all right so time is equal to one and three-fourths of an hour All right, so whenever we plug this in, okay, we're just going to rewrite our equation here. We're going to plug in what they've given us. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this equation. So I have D is equal to R. Now, in place of R, I'm going to put 80. All right, and in place of time or the T, I'm going to put 1 and 3 fourths hour. But I'm not going to put 1 and 3 fourths. I'm going to change this into an improper fraction. All right, so if you remember how to do this, all right, if I have one and three fourths, what I do is I multiply one by the bottom number and then I add the top number. All right, so I get four plus three over four, which gives me seven over four. All right, so I'm gonna multiply this by seven over four. All right, now, whenever we multiply, we just multiply the top number times top number bottom number times bottom number. So we get 560 divided by 4. Right? <clears throat> and then whenever we divide that, we should get 140 miles. And that's my answer. All right, if a car is doing 80 miles per hour and drives for one and three quarters hour, it should cover 140 miles. Okay. Let's clear this out. Let's move to the next one. All right, this one reads, a person borrows money from a friend and they decide to use a simple interest formula. I is equal to P times R times T, where I is the interest in dollars, P is the principal, the original money loaned in dollars, R is the interest rate, and T is time in years. If the person borrows $3,200 for three years at a rate of 4%, how much interest will they owe on, for the loan? Okay, so let's grab us a, a pencil here. All right, so let's identify the important information. All right, first thing I'm going to identify all right, is the principal. All right, and that's going to be right here, how much they borrowed. All right, so principal. $3,200. All right, the next thing we're going to identify is the time. Well, that's three years. All right, and then finally, we have our interest rate, which is 4%. All right, now in a math problem, uh, we usually don't leave things as a percentage. We change it to a decimal. 
All right, and 4% is a decimal is 0 0.04. All right, so now we can plug all this into our formula. So interest, or I, is equal to, uh, our, once again, our principal is 3,200. Our, our interest rate, R, is going to be 0 0.04. All right, and then our principal, or sorry, correction, our time is going to be three years. All right, so I can use a calculator here, whatever I got to do. All right, and what this comes out to be is roughly $360. All right, so there's my answer. Got a little sloppy there. Let's fix that real quick. Okay. All right, let's clear that out. And we'll move on to the next one. All right, things should start speeding up pretty good now. Okay. All right, so one more than twice a number is 11. All right, one more than twice a number. Well, one more means plus one. Twice a number means 2x. So 2x plus 1, one more than twice a number, is, as your equal sign, 11. So here's your equation. Now all you have to do is you got to solve it. So first thing we should do, inverse operation, we're going to subtract 1. This goes away. You get 2x is equal to 10. Then we'll divide by 2. x is equal to 5. There's your answer. Okay, just a simple multi-step equation. Learned about that in module four. Okay, next. Four less than a number tripled is the same number increased by 10. What is the number? Let's talk about this first part. Four less than a number tripled. All right, four less, that means subtraction. Number tripled, that's going to be 3x. All right, now this is the same. All right, that's going to be an equal sign. All right, the same number increased by 10. Same number increased by 10. Well, that's going to be x plus 10. All right, so now we just have to solve this equation. Okay, so what would be our first step? All right, my first step would be to get all the x's on one side. So I'm going to subtract x here. All right, so that goes away. And I get 2x minus 4 is equal to 10. Now I want to add 4 to each side. So I get 2x is equal to 14. Divide by 2, x is equal to 7. And there's my answer. Okay. Let's clear this one out. Now this is our last one. A husband and wife have a combined income of $74,000 a year. The wife makes $10,000 less than twice as much as her husband makes. How much do they earn? Okay, so first of all, let's talk about a couple of things. All right. uh, we know that together they make $74,000. All right, so what we need to do is we need to kind of come up with something for each of them. Well, we know that everything in this case is kind of based on the husband. So we'll say X is the husband's pay. Okay. Well, if the wife makes 10,000 less than twice as much as the husband, that would be 2X minus 10,000. That's going to be the wife's pay.
Okay. Now, if I add the husband's pay to the wife's pay, I should get the total. So now our equation, x plus 2x minus 10,000 should equal 74,000. All right, now it's just an equation. We're gonna start by simplifying each side. We'll combine these two together and get 3x minus 10,000 is equal to 74,000. We'll add the 10,000 to each side. All right, so this is gone. It's gonna be 3x is equal to 84,000. Now, we'll divide by three. What you get is X is equal to 28,000. All right, now that doesn't answer the question. It says, how much do they each earn? So we know the husband is at 28,000 because he's X. We just solve for X. Okay, the wife is going to be two times the 28,000 minus 10. All right, so you can use a calculator here. Two times 28,000 is 56,000 minus 10,000. That gives me 46,000. And you could check this real quick. If we add 28 and 46, we get 74. All right, guys, so that is equation applications. All right, you're, we worked through a couple examples. Uh, you're ready to go for the worksheet, or you can move into the extra practice before you do the worksheet. Uh, regardless, uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in class or email me or come to the Google Meets. All right, guys.